Greetings everyone, 3D Hero here, and in today's video I'll be covering the latest news presented to us for the Monster Hunter Spring Update that will start around March 22nd. This month's very first live stream for Monster Hunter provided a ton of information based around what's going to happen, what will be introduced and how you can access them all. So what's in store? Well firstly we have the well known and hated monster, Devil Joe make his return in this update. He will appear in most missions like Mr. Beetlejuice and also has two unique features added to him. One of them is him picking up small monsters and using them as a shield or weapon against you. While well, secondly, he has a unique turf wall with B-52 bomb himself, which I can honestly say is something that you see from Pokemon, considering how aggressive it is. Next, the devs have updated us over a few improvements to the base game, such as quicker load times, returning to the gathering hall after a quest, which is something that's been highly requested by many people, subtitle font size changes, and super armor, which is also something that's been requested by a lot of people because of griefers. We also have a character recustomization being introduced that will be available on Friday the 16th of March, including the ability to change your gender, which I can say is very welcome and change, as many players feel like their character may not look great or they may have regretted making their character look extremely oddball looking. Now sadly you can't go ahead and freely change your name as well as you can freely change your character's look, as this is based on a ticket system that the current devs use. But what the devs have actually given us instead is that they've given us a ticket to where we'll actually be allowed to go ahead and change your names, but only once. Now I'm not 100% sure if that in the near future they'll allow us even more chances to go ahead and change our names, or whether this is just a one-off, but it's very nice and welcoming, as many of us here may have names that might fit a bit more better for a character rather than something silly. Next up, all Blade Master weapons will be receiving buffs, slight nerves or bug changes, which will make commonly used or unused weapons more viable out on the field. Here are the following weapons that we've seen buffs and slight nerfs. Great swords, long swords, swords and shields, hammers, hunting cords, lance, gun lance, charge blade, switch axe, insect glaives, dual blades, and bows. Bow guns and heavy bow guns sadly didn't receive any buff, which is kind of sad to see, as there are a few areas for the weapon that kind of need to be buffed or just generally looked into, such as the elemental ammo being slightly bit weak, or some of the underused ammo like demon armor shots. I'll also pin the weapon changes list in detail in the comment section so you can take a look at what's been affected and how, as generally I didn't want to make this video too long, as going through all of it is very lengthy, so I'll leave it up to you guys so that in your own time you can go ahead and have a quick look over the notes and see what's changed and how it will affect you. Next up we have the Spring Blossom Festival seasonal event that will be available on the 6th of April till the 20th of April and will be hosted in the Gathering Hall area. Within this event, everything will be covered in flowers with fireworks being set off within the mini festival, while at the same time, new emotes are introduced. A new contest weapon called the Wyvern Ignition finally arrives on this very day. Daily gifts and rewards are given. New armor sets for both hunters and palicos. Two new hairstyles will be added, and a new Puji outfit will be introduced. Also, around the 13th of April, the Mega Man skin for your palico will be introduced and will most likely be event based. And lastly, the Devil May Cry Gun Gesture DLC that was recently announced will be paid, while the base skin will be free to all users. It will most likely follow the same path that the Ryu skin followed, so the gestures will be paid, while the skin will be free through events. Also, they have already stated that the next content update will be next month in April. And really, I do wonder what they will show this time. Maybe a new weapon? Maybe some new armor? Maybe another event? Or maybe another new monster? We're just gonna have to wait and see guys. And that comes to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did then a like and sub would be appreciated. Do comment if there's anything you're confused with and I'll try my best to help you guys. But once again thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.